Hello folks, Roger Daniel here for the Magnificent World of Toys. Today I have a short video for you. This is a video regarding a project that I worked on. It was actually a figure that a friend of mine asked me to build for him and it's uh, none other than this Zuni fetish doll. Uh, from the movie Trilogy of Terror. I literally built this guy from scratch. Of course, I did some research. I was looking at pictures online. I even watched the movie several times. What I did was I first created an armature out of wire. I then bulked it up with foil. And from there, I used Sculpty to sculpt over the foil. After baking it, I reinforced it with a layer of Abe's epoxy sculpt just to give it um, some extra strength. And so I learned a lot of new interesting things putting this together. It was a lot of fun to paint. It was also very fun applying the hair, the teeth, everything. I really wanted it to have a rough kind of wood carving look and I really felt I achieved that look. So I'm, I'm really pleased with the results. In terms of the base, I wanted to give it that bathroom tile look, sort of to mimic that uh, bathroom scene. What I did was I just bought a wooden base from Hobby Lobby and I chiseled in the patterns. I painted it and I lacquered it and I'm really pleased with the overall surface and the texture. And I also added some fake blood for some additional effects. The spear was also a lot of fun to do. I took a wooden dowel and I weathered it. And the spearhead is a piece of styrene, which is a little tricky to work with, but I'm starting to get a little better at it. Overall, this was a very fun project to do. And I'm really thankful for my friend who commissioned me to make it for him. It's basically a one of a kind piece. So that about does it for this video. I know it was a little short, but I was very excited about this project. It took me about six weeks to make. Um, that's what research, sculpting, and everything else. I say I spend about three to five hours a day on it. So that being said, this was Roger Daniel for the Magnificent World of Toys, and may those who play never gray. See you soon.